Spreaker channel where the church is on its feet. Briefly live tonight. Spreaker, my friends, how you guys doing? Live at Twitch TV, late night Bible study podcast. Uh, excited to be here, continuing right on through. Got lots for you. Uh, about 11.30, 11.40 or so, we're going over to uh, YouTube Live. Uh, and joining us, again, is Anchor CastBox, which is awesome. And we got our Twitter friends online for us, or for the study tonight. Uh, so, I can't wait. I'm excited. Cannot wait to get this message out. All right, friends, let's go ahead and just pray it in, brothers and sisters. Come on now. You know how we started out. Oh, Heavenly Father, uh, as we again come before you, we, we set our minds right uh, as we rejoice in your word tonight again, uh, having church service here tonight to uh, share this good news gospel with uh, family, friends, and uh, of course everybody connected and listening. Uh, Father God, I thank you always and again just for everything you provided and the, the joy and the peace that you have uh, continued to bring to our hearts in the midst of all this chaos and problems and issues and uh, things going on, this turbulence, these killings that are going on. Father God, lift them, uh, lift up the saints that the, they have uh, peace and joy in their hearts instead of all this depression and anger. Because we know where that comes from, Father God. It comes from the devil. We can't listen to that mess. Uh, we got to ignore him and block him out and just keep uh, rejoicing you and keep moving forward in your heavenly name. Uh, again, lift up uh, the friends, family, everybody going through their situations, whatever their you know, trouble in their hearts. Father God, lift them up and give them that peace that they want and uh, that we all want. Uh, Father God, thank you so much for these opportunities. Again, as I praise you. In your holy name, I praise. In, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right. Well, we got the church is on for in the house. And uh, let me pull up that other channel here because I know we've got our Spreaker channel. Uh, so give me a second here, friends. You know, I try to be prepared as much as possible, but sometimes... You got to kind of be spontaneous and just kind of go with it. Uh, that's for sure. I've learned in the six years I've been doing this, uh, I've learned to just roll with things and uh, just uh, just be grateful for these opportunities. You know. All right. Well, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything's okay for you tonight. Again, it's like I said, we're going into the book of Revelation, and uh, that's awesome. All right. That's not what I asked for. Uh, mercy. All right. Give me a second. I got to pull the channels back up again. I lost one of them. And uh, so let me go ahead and get that rolling back up again. As it is spinning through, uh, let me go ahead and pull this one up. And I got the lights fixed. Finally, I got the lights fixed, my friends. I did not realize it was getting so dark so early. And it definitely is. Definitely uh, feeling like fall here. channel wants to change on me and uh, it doesn't want to stay still I'm trying to get get on the uh, channel and it doesn't want to stay still uh, so let's see what happens here now that's not it my channel is doing all kinds of weird stuff on me uh, mercy my friends give me a second here All right, well, we got to get that thing going on here. We're ready to go. 
Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get, uh, I am trying to set up uh, the monitor for our Spreaker channel, uh, but the page was jumping uh, out of nowhere. I didn't touch it. It just was jumping back and forth, which is really strange. Uh, and uh, it was, so it wouldn't stay still. And I, I don't. I'm not sure about all that. I don't. I don't know what's going on there. Amen. So I gotta gotta go ahead and get over here. We'll get this thing going here, my friends. Uh, amen. So I hope your, uh, like I said, I hope your Thursday is going well. Uh, we are doing some Bible studies here and uh, getting into that Word of God. So uh, give me just a quick second here. Let me get that page pulled up and uh, see if I can get that loaded and set up. Uh, again, join me over at Rizzle.com. Set that, you know, go ahead and go on over there, Rizzle.com, right here at uh, Twitch TV Ministry Podcast Live at Twitch TV. Uh, we have got uh, Twitter, Periscope, or Podcast 3 Live, my friends, Monday through Sunday, back on track, back on the uh, channel. Like I said, I thought I had some band practice tonight, but. Uh, well, they, they canceled out, and uh, so I was like, well, I I better go on. better get this message out. We're talking about Revelation, my friends. Uh, amen. All right. Well, my computer's spinning. It's not working out so well, so give me a minute. Let me get that through. So there might be a little bit of a break in between uh, the next podcast here at YouTube and Twitter, Anchor Periscope. Uh, i got a couple of quick things to take care of, a couple of quick errands in between. Uh, so uh, just bear with me on that, and uh, hey, we'll get there, my friends. Amen. Now, I had to button this top part just because I couldn't. I've uh, got the external mic going on, the lab mic. And uh, it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't connect. I mean, it wouldn't. There's nowhere to clip it, so I had to put it way up in here. So that's why I got the shirt collar kind of buttoned up, and you know that happens. And uh, it's awesome. I like I said, hey, I, these extra upgrades that we've got, the new mics and stuff, and the lab mic is such a blessing. So awesome to uh, really just have, just be able to have it. So just a blessing, just amazing. So. I'm like, yeah, I will take it. I will take it. All right. Well, let me go ahead and type this message in for our friends there. All right. Oh, mercy, my friends. Hang on here. Let me, uh, let's see what I got checking out here. You know, I got. I always got to test these volumes. Make sure the, make sure our level's good. <laughs> All right. Make sure I got my volume level in there good, because I can definitely hear it. Uh, it's definitely there. Not much volume though. I don't know what's going on with all that, uh, but uh, definitely.
Well, there you go. We're live on the air. I got it going on. It uh, looks like it's going okay. And, uh, well, we're just going to keep moving on forward, my friends, just a little bit here tonight as we continue our message. Uh, let's go right into Deuteronomy chapter 30, 31 again, friends. You know, I always got to give that to you as many times as I possibly can. Uh, there we go. I've got to fix my headset. I'm trying a different pair here. Uh, since we're not on channel one, we're in channel two here, so I have about uh, five different headsets and uh, about three or four mics, so that's what it takes to get this message out, my friends. You know, like I talked about before, hey, that's what it takes. We've got to keep moving, got to keep uh, broadcasting into the, into the ministry here, into the Word. Amen. All right, so let me go ahead and jump uh, just a little bit here. Let me see if I can uh, go to our app. Uh, you know, we have the Spreaker radio app, and you guys can uh, check that out. appreciate that. All right, and you know, we got commercials over there. That's really awesome. That's uh, so cool. All right. <laughs> it wants to give me another uh, podcast message, which is really strange, too. Our phones are just... Uh, our phones aren't working right tonight, and uh, it wants to it wants to it wants to keep going uh, to a different uh, a different message uh, as it's stuck on the 19th, and we're here on the 27th. I'm like, how did that happen? It's it's like it's saying it's on the 27th, but it kicks back and goes to the 19th. I, I'm like, come on, devil, dude, you got to let go. You're not going to win. It's not going to happen, not on my watch, and you need to quit and give up uh, your foolishness, right? All right, straighten out that microphone here. All right, is it working? What is going on? All right, is it there? <laughs> All right. So we got the audio. I can hear it. It is uh, really good. I guess it's uh, the volume's okay on it. It's kind of trying to work, but uh, you know that's what I have with uh, this thing. So. There it is. <laughs> all right, my friends. You know how all this is going on. It's our audio and our video podcast going on tonight. So let's jump back on there. Let's jump back on live line here. And... Uh, all right, friend, let's go right to Deuteronomy 30, and then we're going to do a couple of books, uh, a couple of chapters, right? once we do the, uh, you know, the armor of God here, of course. Uh, amen. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. Now that uh, thou mayest love the Lord thy God, and that thou mayest obey his voice, and that thou mayest cleave unto him. For he is thy life, and the length of thy days, that thou mayest dwell in the land which the Lord sware unto the fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them. And again, we are in Deuteronomy 30 and 31 here. 
And then I'm going to go right to the armor of God and then a uh, couple of things. And then we're going to go right into, oh, there's a camera. Uh, right into Revelation. We may just do one uh, chapter tonight, and then I will jump back to the YouTube channel, Revelation, uh, what do you got, 13, 14, somewhere in there. We're going to keep getting to it, my friends. Let's do some coffee. My throat's a little dried up here. <coughs> um, all right. Where did it go? It was just that good. It was a fresh cup of coffee. All right, 31. And the Lord shall give them up before your face, and ye may do unto them according to all commandments which I have commanded you. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee, and he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Deuteronomy 129, 1 Chronicles 22. 13. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him in the sight of all Israel, Be strong and of a good courage, for thou must go with his people unto the land uh, which the Lord has sworn unto their fathers to give to them. And thou shalt cause them to inherit it. Deuteronomy 138. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee, he will be with thee, he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Uh, fear not, neither be dismayed, my friends. And Moses wrote the law and delivered it unto the priests, the sons of Levi, which bear the ark of the covenants of the Lord, and unto all the elders of Israel. Number 415, number 415, number Let me go real quick here. And of course, bump the camera. Mercy. All right. Uh, eventually, I'm going to fix this. I'm going to put it on one stationary uh, tripod or something, or switch tripods or something to. Uh, so it's not moving around. It's moving and shaking, my friends. That's for sure. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely got some some movement there. And I know it's an, a little bit of an uh, annoying thing dealing with that uh, for sure. All right. Well, like I told you earlier, friends, uh, my uh, grab my Bible. It was falling off my table off my pulpit I grabbed it and it tore out one of my pages here so I'm still trying to patch it up together here so all right let's say we uh, get into the Lord's Prayer and the sinners prayer of salvation Amen. all right let's go ahead and do that my friends precious friends it is uh, like I said Thursday night uh, around uh, seven, three, I don't know. I lost track after the first four or five podcasts. Uh, you know, uh, I just, you know, we got to stay on it. And I'm trying to stay on, on focus on my, uh, my schedule. You know, the Spirit laid the schedule out on me and said, hey, this is where you're going. This is what you're doing. And I was like, I, I don't know if I could do that. But see, then that doubt is from the enemy. The, uh, the enemy don't want you to do anything. You know, he, he just wants you to uh, kind of, and it's hard to explain it, but to, he wants you to just sit there and just be, I can't do it. You're right. Yep, you're right. All right but yep, I'm, I'm done. I, I can't do it. That doesn't come from God, my friends. It comes from the enemy and the devil. Like I said, he don't want us to do anything. He wants us to just be, uh, you know, in our muck, right? But we've got to trust in God, right? All right, let's go ahead and do the Lord's Prayer and the Center of Prayer of Salvation here tonight. 27th of August, already our late night, late night podcast. Uh, getting ready to fire up and go ahead and go over to our YouTube, Twitter, Periscope channel, and Anchor, and CastBox. We're here live right now with you guys. Twitch TV, second podcast for tonight. 
uh, second service, and of course, right here at our, uh, our, our thing, this one right here, Anchor and, uh, or uh, Spreaker, right? All right, so let me double check my cords, cables, wires, mercy. I know. I got so many cords in here, I don't know what's plugged in or not. So we're going to just roll with it. Yeah, because I got this one. Uh, this is, like I said, this is our our uh, cord, our main cord going into uh, channel 3 here. Uh, so that's why you see all these cords and cables and wires and stuff and mics. Because uh, I am multitasking, as I usually do. It's all right. It's good stuff. I like it. All right, Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, not, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, church. And we've got to say amen as we always do. Amen, friends. Good job. All right, I know you, Jesus, Son of God, died on the cross for me so that I can be forgiven for my sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for my sins. Fall on me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, please show me my purpose in life and how I can better serve you. Thy will be done, not my will. I pray this prayer, Jesus, in your holy, precious name. Church, we got to say amen, amen, amen. Love that scripture. All right, let's armor up. Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and go there, my friends. Go ahead and go on over to your Bibles. Make sure you have them out. Your, your big book of love, pens, papers, notebook tablets, highlighters for your highlighters. And your cup of coffee, all right? See, man, you got to have your cup of coffee with you. All right. Finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Uh, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, uh, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of that gospel of peace. And above all, taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. First Peter 5, 8, 9, for your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. That's why you got to have your armor on, so you don't get got, right? Amen. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, our Bible, our living water. Amen. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that therein I may speak boldly, as I ought to speak because the spirit doesn't give us the spirit of fear, my friends, but of love, power, and a sound mind. Amen. All right, we got Romans 10, 9, 21. Uh, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, my friends. All right, well, like I said, we're having a Bible study. Just going to be up here for about another 15, 20 minutes here. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to go on over to YouTube. Uh, for uh, some scriptures, and it's good stuff, friends. It is good stuff. We're uh, digging into the Word of God in the book of Revelation. And uh, like I said, uh, we'll be back on full track tomorrow afternoon, 3 p.m., right here, uh, Twitch TV, uh, along, like I said, along with YouTube and Anchor and CastBox.
All right. Let me grab a grab the scripture here. And as I was looking at my Bible, I am still working on my notes here. Uh, you know, in the book of uh, Galatians. Uh, so that'll be an upcoming podcast here, friends. I'm not going to give it to you yet. <laughs> You'll have to come on back if you want to learn the Bible here, my friends. And boy, do I, you listen, I appreciate you guys. Uh, like I always tell you, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys being here and supporting the channel. Uh, Twitch TV is a new channel for me, fairly new. Uh, I have not uh, been on it as much as I wanted to. Now uh, I kind of, kind of, you know, periodically would go on here live, but then. Uh, you know, the Spirit just said, hey, what are you doing? Uh, I opened up a door for you. I opened up a channel for you, and you're not utilizing it. You're, I don't know what's going on with you. But so I was like, after praying on it, it was like, yeah, I, I better get on this. Uh, I know this was like a gaming channel. I've talked about this before. Uh, it was just a gaming channel, and I was like, well, uh, I don't think they're going to listen to me. I don't think anybody's going to care what I'm doing. But, uh, well, as the Spirit kept pouring on me, I kept praying, uh, you know, I was like, whoa, what a blessing this channel is. And uh, so, uh, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate you guys. That's why I doubled the channel. Like I said, that's, that's why when I came back, uh, I doubled uh, the messages. I doubled the podcast to, to get back in here to, to work on this full time. I want to build this community uh, of blood washed believers, of, uh, you know, even non believers. Hey, you got a question about the Lord, you know, a question about God, uh, feel free to answer now. I'll try to answer, uh, like I said, I'll, I, as the best I can, uh, you know, but uh, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. Uh, you know, kind of like, you know, spending time on a lot of the questions. I'd rather do the Bible study, uh, but, uh, you know, hey, I'm here to answer and, and you know, uh, share this good news gospel with you. Uh, so, again, I know, like I always say, I know this is a lot different than what you're probably used to seeing. But uh, that's the way the Spirit really gave this to me and said, hey, this, you need to do this. Uh, and that's the difference. Uh, that's, uh, well, it's hard to explain that too, but uh, that's what uh, being obedient to the Spirit, that's what it entails. We really uh, have to forsake ourselves uh, and be obedient to what God wants us to do and really... Uh, really hear what the Spirit is telling us. We have to be like, listen, really, uh, you know, and, and, and just drop everything like the disciples did. They dropped their nets. They picked up their cross and they followed Jesus. Uh, and that's not easy. You know, it's not easy being dedicated and uh, committed because that's what it takes to have a, uh, you know, it's a, like I said, it's a personal relationship with Christ. Uh, and, and as I always said, there's a difference, there's a huge difference between a religion uh, and a uh, personal, uh, a personal relationship with Christ. Uh, because by His grace, we are saved by His love and mercy. Uh, so that is why uh, you see... Uh, you know, that's why I'm on the podcast so much. It's, it's from 11 in the morning. It starts earlier, preparing and getting the scriptures together and just praying and stuff. But the time I put into it, it's about uh, 8 to 18, 19 hours a day. Uh, really, uh, I kind of I kind of went over that with another pastor. And uh, she was saying that that's, you know, that's... That's what it takes, friends. You know, that's that's what it uh, really takes and entails. Uh, just being dedicated, loyal, committed, uh, and uh, serve the Lord wholeheartedly. 
uh, and not uh, not just a weekend preacher, you know, not just a Sunday one day preacher, but uh, seven days a week. This is a full time commitment for me, uh, and uh, uh, you know, but that's what it takes. Uh, like I said, that's what she was talking about too. She's you know, it's been probably twenty three, twenty two hours a day, twenty hours a day uh, on her messages too. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's tough and, uh, but it is also a blessing. Uh, it is a, a real blessing to be, uh, called in to shepherd the flock. And that's what, uh, you know, when, uh, Jesus asked Peter, he said, you know, do you love me? Yes, I do. Well, uh, feed my sheep. Uh, so that's what we're doing you know fivefold ministry we are shepherds of the flock and uh, committed uh, to lead uh, and and be you know what we're called to do right so uh, so that's kind of a little bit of a background here what's going on and uh, why you guys uh, see the change uh, in uh, podcast schedules, uh, that's why I've doubled them up. And and like I said, we're I'm waiting till September to kick in our Block Talk Radio, and then I'll be on that three times a day because I'm adding them uh, an hour and about an hour plus or so uh, at three o'clock again at seven thirty, and uh, again at night at about nine thirty ten o'clock. So that's going to be, you know, so, so because I have a lot of people on, on Block Talk Radio uh, for some reason don't have YouTube so, you know I, I tried to open up uh, as many channels as I possibly can for you guys so that you can get these messages and now as soon as I can get the you know, as soon as I can get the audio part straightened out with my blo- with my Spreaker channel, I'm going to double that up too, because that channel is actually uh, sent over to our YouTube channel uh, and Twitter. Uh, so, you know, it's it's a good thing they got going on where you can actually just uh, do one podcast and then it kind of spiderwebs out uh, to the other channels. But I like to do separate messages uh, for each set of channels like uh, we do in the morning. Uh, Rizzle, Instagram, Vimeo, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And then, you know, a couple hours later, an hour and a half later, I jump over here, right here to Twitch TV, YouTube, Anchor, CastBox, then Block Talk Radio. And then, uh, because it's part audio, I've got a bunch of audio channels and video, live videos, like right here. Uh, and so uh, it's separate. It's just a bunch of separate messages. And then, you know, later on, it's Twitch uh, right here, Twitch TV, Spreaker, you know, uh, and that kind of spider webs out to a bunch of different channels, which is awesome. And uh, then uh, later on, like uh, right after here, I take a quick break, take care of a couple of things. I'm going back over to YouTube Live video, and then with our anchor again. And Castbox, then, but see, then I got a, a, a three thousand people, three thousand followers, uh, at my Twitter channel. You know, and so I got to kind of balance all this stuff out. Uh, but uh, you know, and I guess there's there's uh, well, and we, plus friends, we got Streamlabs, and then there's still use Stream TV and uh, Podbean that I'm getting set up for next month. So. That's kind of where that's all at, friends. So I, I know it's kind of a little bit of a rabble in here, but uh, I'm going to jump in. I think just uh, real quick here, I think I'm just going to jump into uh, our uh, our Revelation, Book of Revelation. I think we're going to go ahead and jump into that, and uh, it's going to be good. I love I love Revelation, uh, so give you a heads up on that. Give me a second here. All right, my friends. Let's go ahead and pull this around. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, the the. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and go into the other one, the other book here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. 
just kind of do things a little bit different. But you'll catch the full podcast here. Uh, amen. In just a little bit here. So let me give you just a couple of, uh, what are we at here? I want to make sure I'm in the right chapter uh, for you. And, of course, every time I open my Bible, I got my charts falling down, my bookmarks falling down on me. <laughs> Which is not surprising. It's not. It's not really. Uh, so, let me check. So we just read chapter 12. On the previous podcast right here, we just went through chapter 12. Uh, and then we went through 13. So let me, because uh, we're going to do that again. I'm going to repeat chapter 12 again. Or, or 13 anyway. So I want to I wanna kind of uh, give that to you guys again. But let's go... Uh, uh, where is it? Let's go back. Let's backtrack real quick here. Amen. All right. Let's go ahead and backtrack real quick here, friends. Still working on my notes. My pages got jammed together here somehow. Uh, all right. So before I even do that, uh, let's go backtrack here. Let's go see what the King James version is of Chapter Twelve, uh, talking about the woman and the child and about the twelve hundred and thirty. Uh, in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, my friends. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, now, this is where uh, Satan is cast out uh, into the abyss, into the uh, into the earth, right? Or down to earth here. Uh, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed or clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth pangs, and pangs to be delivered, Isaiah 66, 7. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, uh, and, hold, and behold, a great red dragon, uh, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born uh, Exodus 1 16 and she brought forth the man child who was about to rule all the nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up in, in unto God and to his throne Psalm 2 9 and the woman fled into the wilderness where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her a thousand two hundred and three score days. Uh, that's in Revelation eleven three. And after there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. Daniel. 10, 13. Now, read Daniel and Ezekiel, friends. It all ties into this. Uh, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, the old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. Uh, Genesis 3, 1, Luke 10, 18, and Revelation 9, one, And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God. And the power of his Christ 
and the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accu uh, or accused, not a curse, but accused them before our God day and night. And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony and the love. And they love not their lives unto the death. All right, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, rejoice. All right, got to get some more scotch tape here. All right. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in the woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right? He knows that his time is short. And when the dragon saw that he was cast into the earth, and uh, the, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child in Revelation 12, uh, 5. And to the women were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness uh, into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent or serpent. Exodus 19 4. Now we're reading Revelation chapter uh, 14. Uh, there is no calling on this. Uh, just. Uh, just the text message, and uh, I'm not uh, really sure how Twitch TV works. Uh, I know they have the, the live chat line going on, uh, but uh, if you can hold your questions for a minute, uh, I'm just going to finish out Revelation 12 and jump over to the YouTube channel uh, live uh, with our Twitter Periscope live anchor cast box audio channel. Uh, so I appreciate you jumping on here, uh, but uh, like I said, I I don't think there is a live call-in uh, available on the Twitch TV here. You just do the text messaging. But I thanks for jumping online here. I just almost missed a uh, missed a question here, so I almost missed it. So welcome, and uh, like I said, hold your your uh, questions at least until uh, a little bit here until I get done. I just want to read the rest of uh, Revelation chapter four, or, uh, 13, 12 here. We are going through the whole book of Revelation and uh, get ready to jump over to our YouTube channel in just a, a few short minutes here. So uh, there you go. I just want to lay that out for you. I appreciate you jumping online here. All right, 14, and to the women uh, or woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place, where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the ser uh, face of the serpent, Exodus 19.4. And the serpent cast out of his mouth waters a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood, Isaiah 59.19. Uh, amen. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened up her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Christ. All right. So there you go. That's uh, I wanted to share that message with you, uh, my friends, and uh, I appreciate you guys so much uh, jumping on here. All right. Looks like we've lost our connection here. Uh, trying to connect to our chat line. Man, doesn't want to do that, so we'll have to see what's going on with it. All right, let's see if we can get back on here. 
All right. Let's see. All right, my friends, that's it for me. I'm going to head on over to our YouTube channel. I'll see you guys back here in uh, tomorrow afternoon about 3 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time Zone Worldwide Live Minister Podcast. Pastor Rick Rally here. You guys take it easy. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon. I'll see you guys on the next one. Let's get our uh, channel going. Right. Well, let's see what we got going on here. All right, my friends, that's it. We got the church in the house. Twitter.com, Twitch TV. You guys uh, have a great rest of your night, and I will see you tomorrow afternoon at 3 o'clock. Uh, right here, Twitch TV, YouTube Anchor. Block, well, not Block Talk yet. Getting there. And, of course... Anchor and cast box, my friends. Have a great rest of your night. Join me on over. Uh, join me on over at YouTube in just a, a few short minutes here. Uh, again, just after 11:30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you tomorrow in the Book of Revelation, my friends, and so much more. Now we didn't get to the recap series, but uh, join me over at YouTube and. I, I got a couple of them for you. I'm going to cover for you and uh, go ahead and get into that, my friends. Uh, all right. Well, that's it. And like I said, have a great rest of your night. My facts on the uh, channel here, I didn't. Get, you guys can't hear it, but uh, pretty interesting stuff. So, all right, my friends, have a good night. And I do appreciate you guys uh, jumping in here with me. You guys have a great night. I'll see you on the next one, my friends, and pardon my finger. I know I got white out on it. Uh, so there's no other way to really shut this off. You've got to go right where the camera's at. And I didn't like it, but that's where it's at. Anyway, friends, appreciate your time. See you on the next one. All right, that's it for me, Spreaker.com. Have a good rest of your night. I'll see you on the next podcast, my friends.